let us discuss first hyperpigmentation disorders of skin okay hyperpigmentation disorders right in hyperpigmentation disorders the first one that we are going to discuss in this lecture is melasma means melasma so in melasma also there is increased or excessive production of melanin this excessive melanin is present in epidermis in melasma okay the excessive production is in epidermis so it gives brown color brown color the etiology of melasma is mainly hormonal like oc pills pregnancy hormonal replacement therapy even in it it can be associated with hypothyroidism also hypothyroidism also and when there is ex exu exposure to ultraviolet b rays so in all in all these cases we will see melasma one is ocpils pregnancy hormonal replacement therapy hypothyroidism and ultraviolet b rays exposure these are the this is the etiology then moving to classification depending upon the sites where this melasma is present will classify this melasma into centrofacial maxillary or mandibular okay depending on depending on sites depending on sites this can be centrofacial centrofacial in the sense the melasma is present or brown color brown color is present on at three places mainly nose malar remnants and forehead we'll see this in pregnancy also you see at the nose malar remnants and forehead the at these places brown color is seen this is first and the second is mandibular in the sense the pigmentation is present on in on the mandibular area third is maxillary area maxillary that means brown color is present at the maxillary areas right so depending upon the sites where this melasma is present it can be either centrofacial or mandibular or maxillary okay then going to treatment treated treatment can be given topically in topical the agents are the drugs that we use are hydroquinone hydroquinone azelic acid kojic acid arbutin so these are the important drugs that are used for melasma one is hydroquinone azelic acid kojic acid arbutin and there is one formula clinsmans formula clinsmans formula in clinsmans formula we use three drugs they are hydroquinone retinoin retinoin and steroids so in this formula we use three drugs for melasma they that is they are hydroquinone retinoin and steroids apart from giving topical agents or drugs we are we also we also have to advise the patient to protect skin from sunlight we have to as advise the patient to protect from skin light so this protection can be done by either covering the uh, body parts or by using sunscreens by using sunscreens
okay this is about melasma